Paddy Pimblet, what, what he's done for the country and the scene, obviously he'll be keeping an eye on you and uh, likewise on, on him down the line. What do you make of him as a character in the sport? No, he's, he's great, man. And, and Patty and I have been uh, in contact a little bit. You know, he's, he's a guy who's in that perfect, uh, kind of that p perfect position where I'm the guy, I'm going to be the champion here in the next 12 months. Uh, he's going to be nipping at my heels, coming into the top 15, coming into the top 10. Um, but I don't have a scarcity of mindset when it comes to uh, other guys in my division, especially when I see guys who are doing it the right way, in, in my opinion. You know, he's, he's a, a marketable guy. He's a happy guy. He's a fun guy. He's fun to watch. He's fun on the microphone. He's the total package. And people can hate on him all they want, uh, but really they're just being haters because Patty Pimlet's the total package. But can he put it together inside the octagon within the bells? Um, and continue to keep winning. We'll see. Speaking of Paddy Pimblett, his teammate Molly McCann fights again tonight and she is owner of one of the best knockouts of all time. Uh, I'm putting you on the spot here. Who has the knockout of the year at the moment? You or Molly? That's so funny actually, because I just did a, an appearance yesterday and I, I love being here in London and everybody obviously big Paddy fans, big at Tom Aspinall fans, big Meatball Molly fans. And yeah, I mean, I, I do believe that spinning back elbow clean KO was absolutely amazing. I hope my knockout holds on as, as KO of the year because I like to collect awards here in this, inside the UFC, but she's definitely nipping at my heels. I think it's definitely her and I as the number one and number one A knockout of the year thus far, but we're only in July. So we'll see. There's definitely a lot of, a lot of time left inside the octagon for these fighters.